I'm Chrissy, and you're watching the Corvette Channel. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott, and today I'm just going to be covering the uh, run that we made up to Oregon for the Southern Oregon Corvette weekend and we had a great time up there and those guys they put together an awesome show so some of the stuff that you saw I had already uh, uploaded live I'm probably gonna put a little bit of that video into this one and uh, get you guys a, a hopefully a good feel of what we what we got to experience they do this show every other year it was a big it it really shows there's so much work that they put into it and um, we just really enjoyed ourselves. We know darn well we'll go back next year, or the following year, I should say. And um, it just uh, everything was top notch. I mean, they they washed our cars when we got there. They had absolutely everything uh, very well organized, all documented. We knew exactly what we were going to do when we were needing to do it. And uh, it was a great venue right there next to the river. And then after the car show, we actually got to uh, go on a jet boat ride where we got to go have dinner. And so um, they were, uh, some, of the, some of the boats have Chevys and some of them have Fords in them. So either there were four, excuse me, three 454 Chevy motors in them or uh, three 460 Fords in them. And uh, they just fly up and down that river. So our pilot got, uh, he took us out there and he was having us do some uh, complete 360s and things like that. That was so much fun. And I got some of that on film and you'll be able to see that, that uh, those waves are coming up. The waves that the boat's creating is like way above our head. If that, if, you know, if it just swung around a little bit more, we would have just all been totally drenched. I don't know how bad as it was, but. Anyway, um, hopefully you like what you see, and um, thanks for watching.
Southern Oregon Corvette Association's annual car show. And part of the registration to get in was that they are washing and drying the cars after this long drive that we had. We came all the way from Sacramento up to Grants Pass, Oregon. You can see my car there is being washed and dried. And Speedy's car is right there. You've seen that car many a time in some of our shows that we've had. And uh, so I'm just going to kind of, we're getting the red carpet treatment here. Um, we've had, from what I hear, we've got cars all the way from Southern California up here. And you can see these cars here are all in line to be able to get their cars washed. So these are all from our Just for Corvettes Club. Our vice president there in the blue cars. This one right here is our president's club, our president's car. And then Terry, you've seen that in some of our videos and some of our how-to videos, that's their car. And then I believe this gentleman here is from Pomona, down on the Pomona Car Club down south. And we've got some other ones, I don't know where they are but or where they're from, but we've got all these guys are all in line here waiting to be able to get their cars washed. You can see some of the other ones that have already been washed and dried. They're out here parked. So they have a full, complete turnout. When I did a video a couple days ago letting you know that we were here, uh, we were going to be doing, a, I think at that point they had about 188 people or 188 cars show up um, or get registered, I should say, uh, with a total of room for 250 cars. And uh, I think as of yesterday, registration closed. It's completely full. There will be no walk-ins. Um, so, uh, you know, very, very, very cool that it's a complete fill, filled up car, car deal here. All of the proceeds from this, from what I understand, are going to a charity. I think last year it went to uh, the Cancer Society. I'm not exactly sure uh, where it's all going this year, but it uh, looks, looks like it's going to be a really cool setup here. So. So anyway, I just wanted to pop in, say hi, uh, and let you guys know what we're up to. So this is kind of the, the beginning of everything. The car show starts uh, being able to, for us to start putting our cars in tomorrow at 8. And then the, it goes all day long and actually runs into Sunday. So I'll be putting up some videos throughout the day uh, because I won't hopefully not be as pushed. Um, as far as time is concerned, hopefully I'll be able to get some good shots of, uh, of all the cars and maybe I can get some more detailed uh, shots of interiors and, uh, uh, and under the hood. There's a lot of these that are customized. They do a great job. So, All right, looks like I'm ready to go, so I got to hop off. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now. Out of the way. And I just had to, uh, you had seen these in the first video, um, you had uh, our president and vice president of Just for Corvettes, They're, they were in line, they're getting their cars washed, this is a brand new 2019 over here, uh, um, Dave's car, uh, it's a beautiful car, and then I had to put, I just had to put this video out just, just for, for John, John Lane, he's our admin of our Facebook group, and uh, I always terrorize him all the time. This is this is his uh, C5. Uh, this thing has got a lot of little goodies in, a lot of customization on it, and um, and so um, he's always he's always, he hates washing his car. He just hates it. So it's kind of funny that it's getting done and he's not having to do it. So John, I know when you see this video, of, you know <laughs> I'm just totally trying to terrorize you. But anyway, I thought I thought you guys might want to be able to take a look at it when it's all nice and clean and shiny. So. Anyway, if you notice on the back over there where the gentleman's washing the wheels at, you notice that there's no gas door. Um, John did all the customization on these fenders and put the gas door, took it, totally eliminated it. Um, not that the car don't need gas, but uh, when you lift the door, it's a, got Lambo doors. It, they come up and out, and um, and so uh, the gas the, the gas cap is actually inside the door jam. So um, and. And then it's got quite the quite the stereo in it. And then he's also done a lot of customization to the hood. All of this work he's done himself. He's done the paint himself. Um, so um, it's just a it's just a beautiful car. So anyway, um, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I know they're really really short. They're probably going to have a bunch of these throughout the uh, throughout the next next couple of days. If I come up with something that's even uh, you know 
a little more fun to watch or just something I think that you guys might want to see, uh, I'll pop in and say hi. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. We are actually at the uh, Southern Oregon Corvette Car Show today. Um, you saw some of the video yesterday um, of getting us all ready for this and that we had driven up from uh, Sacramento, California up here. And um, so we uh, yesterday we did the car wash and some other fun events that we had going on that I'll end up uh, posting on uh, on YouTube uh, when I get a chance to edit some of it. So, um, but I just wanted to be able to show you some of the cars that we got going on here today. Um, they've uh, haven't quite figured out how they have arranged the cars yet. Um, they've got. Uh, Different I thought we were doing by different generations, but I'm don't really think so I mean, we've got c4s mixed in with c5s mixed in with c7s you can see uh, our cars a few of our cars for our group are right over there You can see Jennifer in the background there um, So they kind of put us over there and then some of our other group is on the other side of the of the deal so we're just gonna I try to walk through some of these here, and then we'll uh, we'll probably break this up into a couple different uh, different shows here for today. But um, there's a couple uh, '96 uh, collector edition cars right here. So I don't know if those are running together, if they just decided to put them together. But, um, I think they're the same people. Are they? Are they the same yeah, people? Yeah. Okay. So. Those of you that are watching, guys, um, you guys have watched our channel. Uh, uh, Terry's here with me today. Say hi, Terry. What's up, people? <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's, as you can, uh, some of the videos that we've done, some of the install videos, if you remember, he's, uh, he's been there and helping me with it or doing the whole thing and 
not letting me touch a wrench, just filming it. So, so anyway, um, just thought we'd walk these things and take a look at this. Did a really nice job here. And hopefully the camera picks up that, that carbon fiber there. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. All right. National Corvette Museum member. Very nice car, guys. Thank you very much. Your car, is on, uh, as we speak, is on uh, the Corvette channel on YouTube. Sweet. Well, look for it. <laughs> this here is a really neat color. It is a beautiful color. It. I don't know if the camera can see it. Yes. Yeah, it, the camera might show it as black, but it's got this iridescent blue. It's really yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Guys, you guys have been hearing that Jennifer's looking at being able to get a car here soon. We've kind of uh, moved up the timetable a little bit. We're looking at probably doing it in the next couple of months. She's kind of homing in on one like this one. She's really liking this this blue here. So uh, I, she's uh, she's seen him with black and she's seen him with chrome. I like the chrome. Uh, she can go either way at this point. So why don't you tell her what you think? So anyway, here's another. Another ZR1 here, an older one, C4. This looks like one of the original ones here. It's got the Mercury yeah. marine engine in it. Yep. That's the original ZR1 there. Yeah, very cool. Um, wouldn't mind having one of those, that's for sure. But I want one of everything. <laughs> or more. Well, patriotic thing going on on this one. Oh, look at that. That's I think that's, that's that same blue. Yep. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. Cars look good <laughs> after right. yesterday, huh? Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, you guys did a great job. Good. Good <laughs> All right. So, uh, today in this judging, they allowed them to either have the hood closed or open. So, there's that's why you're seeing a lot of them are closed, but oh, look at this one. Wow. The, how the orange in the roof. I know, isn't that great? I and mean, this like just pearl is just beautiful. The whole all pearl. And then they match the uh, match that. Yeah, it looks nice. Are you videoing, Scott? Oh yes. Good. Yep. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, this is what Linda's looks like now. Yeah. It's kind of stuff. Yeah. Linda, when, if you're watching this right now, um, or a little bit later, looks like kind of like yours. Yeah, Scott's got plans for it. That's it. <laughs> We're going to get her all dolled up. Linda's is probably one of the be most beautiful C5s I've ever seen, though, but she's she's got that thing looking dialed in now. So, yeah, so here's... Can you imagine putting that engine in your Stingray? I, I have enough problem with the one I got <laughs> passing you guys. Yep. Uh, there's a here we go and that's a c4 for you right there that's nice that's like almost like yours isn't it's it? a lot like mine but i mine is a newer one and i would actually rather have the the older body style with the with the black trim on it okay yeah yeah so no very nice very nice let's see we'll go down let's see if we can go down this aisle over here there's one down here that's got uh fuel injection in it it's electronic <laughs> It has, it Bless you. Oh, here we go. Yep. Oh, look at that! Look at that color. I keep telling, I keep telling Jennifer that this is the color she should get. You guys, uh, you guys got to speak up and tell her what you think, because uh, you know, if you look at it, certain places it looks like chocolate brown. I know, right? Here, it's got a purple tint. It's a very cool bra. Yeah. It's a OEM original one that you can buy from. Uh, really. Okay. The only thing they didn't plan on was the license plate in the front, so I had to kind of get creative with that. But <laughs> they don't have a plan for plate. Yeah. Yeah. So I just kind of made it work. But yeah, very for cool. For trips like this, yeah, you don't want to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Either that or you stay three or four cars behind everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, over here, uh -huh. see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, now this is a conversion, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, this is a... It's a kit car here. Um, they take basically a C5 or C6. It looks like this is LS3, so this is a C6 un underpinning here. And you can see inside, you get all the modernness 
of the C6, and then uh, this company goes through and they take that body off, and then they put this body on the car. Yeah, yeah. So I, this is the only conversion I've seen that I really like. I don't like the yeah. C1 conversions. The cars right. are too big. Right. Yep. But this don't look too bad. Now it looks pretty cool. Yeah. And it's a split window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's very cool. I mean, I know it's not, you know, it's not exact, but I mean, this gives you all the modern conveniences of all the, and then the look of the uh, the older car. And it's just really cool. It's actually about the best. I, I really, I, I, get, I like this. It's nice. Yeah. No, very nice. Very nice there. It doesn't look out, like out of proportion. No, no, they've, they've done a good job with it. They really have. And this C5 here has got the ghost flames all across that hood there. You got a 62 with fuel injection. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> that's a beautiful car. Yeah. Yeah, let's see where. This is the same injection that I got on the roadster I got at the house, except they've got electronic rails in it. I don't mind your mind's all mechanical. Oh, yeah. Which makes it harder to drive, but a lot more fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now this one you can definitely tell is loved. Yeah, now that's a beautiful car. Isn't it nice? Yeah. I still like the 58, 59, and 60s. Yeah. They're like my favorite. You know, it just, I don't think there is an ugly Corvette. Well, I, I've seen one. <laughs> Have you? It was on, it was on a tow truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, that's a good looking one there too. Oh, and Able Racing, they made it down. That's really cool to see. Uh, they're one of our sponsors for the Just for Corvettes uh, Club. They sponsor our, um, of when we do our shows, they uh, do the sponsoring of our trophies and stuff. So that's really nice to see that they made it up here. That's, that's a pretty long haul. I think there's about 20 of them that came up with it. Did they really? Okay, that's cool. Well, I'm glad, to, glad that the support is there. This and, is a pretty blue. Now Jennifer keeps saying, "Hey, I'd like this Z06." And you know, I told her, "So I want the Z06." And so I told her, "Now, if I have to stick with a Stingray, so does she. She's not getting a Z06." She's like, "Well, you can drive it when we go somewhere." I'm like, "No, not gonna happen." Uh, yeah. There's one along here that they've done some painting on the hood. Yeah. That's a beautiful hood. Can't remember which one it was. Look at the hood. Oh, yeah. Well, and the engine and everything. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, very cool. nice. Take a look at that, guys. Isn't that great? Yeah. Kind of gives you the old school stuff. Oh, I know, right? I mean, it's just it's beautiful. It's, it's, I, look, this is really nice. Look at this. That stripe is really cool. Yeah, and it's got all the ground effects on it, too. Yep. Oh, very cool. Yep. We're gonna have to do that to Linda's calipers and paint them red. When when we get to the point where our tires wear out, we're buying brand new rims and tires. Mm-hmm. She keeps looking at foots. Oh well, they make good stuff. They do. Well, I like them because they're clean through. They don't have a lip and stuff. They're just flat all the way through. They're really easy to clean. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out what that means on the... Cat psychotics. Yeah, I don't know what that means. In other words, the cat is psychotic. Oh. <laughs> you got a stingray deal on there. That's cool. Now, you know what's funny is that, the, that you can get that that for the, the hood liner. It says stingray. Right. But you can't get that anymore that has the Corvette flag. So you have to buy it separate and then add it on, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they why GM did that. And then here's John, our vice president, John Lane's car. Um, him and Sherry, uh, they're here today. And so you know, if you probably recognize this car from our wind restrictor video, we'll put a wind restrictor in it. Don't oh, you're fine. Yeah. Give one to that gentleman, too. Oh, Corvette one, channel. Oh, Thank Corvette you very much. You want to smile and say hi to the Corvette channel? Hi! 
Hi. Thank you for supporting candlelighters for children with cancer. We appreciate it. Can I have everybody's attention, please? You know what I'm going to do when I go get another Is there a Teresa Christensen? That's right. On the floor, we'd appreciate it. Come over to the soak tent. Somebody has something that belong, belongs to you. Thank you very much. At this time, this we're starting a raffle yes. draw. So, thank, thank you. you. Thank, you. Cool. thank you so much. Very cool. Let me see that. There you go. All right. Thank you. Then come check that. While you're checking the board, you need to go over and look at the tent with the green tickets. There we go. Over there. That's and a good looking the car. They did a good job with this one. And again, we'd like to thank Ellers for their sponsor of the car. And I like those big, I like these big Candy fins Lighters. on the back of these Candy things. Lighters. And all the guys, most of them yeah, don't like them, but I think they're pretty cool. I, I, to me, I'm too practical. Yeah. <laughs> I, if I had the wing, I'd want to do 150 all the time. <laughs> And then here's Speedy's car. You guys have seen this on a lot of different things. We put his uh, wind restrictor in, and and it's an identical version of my car. It's a little bit of change. You can see here he's got uh, the. They're both uh, 14Z51s, but his mirrors and his um, and his spoiler are uh, body color, uh, where mine are the uh, the carbon flash. But I mean, you can see they just pretty much are identical. So. And then we've got some Corvettes from, from Pomona Cor Car Club, Pomona Valley Corvette. Uh, 60th anniversary Callaway. This is a beautiful car here, guys. Take a look at this. This is from Mount Hood Corvettes. Look at that. Yeah. Callaway. Isn't that great? Look at that. I like I like the supercharger they, that type of yeah. stuff. Yeah, no, they did a they did a really good job there. That looks nice. Look at that metal flake, man. It's just and hopefully the camera picks that up. But that is just beautiful. And he's got all the car carbon fiber all along the bottom. So, and then we've got one that's there. We go. There's a special place for that one, right? Oh yes, we do. Absolutely. So they've done a good job with this, and. Anything red, white, and blue, yeah. and the flags. All You're right. Good with me. Another Mount Hood Corvette, and it looks like he was a 2014 purchase. Well, he looks like he's doing it all the time. He's going to be on. I wonder if he's going to be on the caravan this year too. Our team captain for the uh, Northwest region is here again. Don is out here today. I think I saw his car earlier. Um, so they're going to be doing this show, and then they'll be heading out. Not too. They only got a little bit longer, and they'll be heading out to Bowling Green. I was supposed to be on that trip, but it just wasn't working out to be able to do that. Too hot C5. Yeah. I was just looking at the wheels. Yeah. They look almost like C7. Yeah. yeah.
I tell you what, guys, let's break this up. We're going to walk down, uh, back down to my car, and then we're going to cut this off for right now, and we'll come back. We've got, you can see here, we've got all this over here, okay, that we're going to be able to bring in, show you all about, but I don't want to run these videos too long. We're already at about 17 minutes, so we'll, um, we'll cut this one off here. I'll go take a break, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. channel and they actually live in the house and just so happened that brian and his son Col it's colby uh, they live here and they just bought a 2007 c6 and um i just thought I, he's had it in the parking lot he, he had just got it he couldn't even get into the show because he just got it and um so i wanted to show it show it off and we, so we walked out to the parking lot so he could uh show, show it to you and tell us a little bit about it so go ahead I plan on uh, Diablo tuner, Cook's headers, cross pipe, ACS splitter, side skirts, lower it by about an inch. Okay. Uh, probably leave it, leave it at that for now. Well, that's quite a bit. <laughs> okay. Well, very cool. Very cool, yeah. Now, it's a beautiful car, guys. Let's take a look at this real quick. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you can see the tag in the window. He just got it. So, um, so I, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to send in uh, pictures and let, or some videos so we can see what it looks like when he's all done. Absolutely. So, right now he's looks like he's got upgraded brakes on that, and he's got the got the ZR1 spoiler on the back of it right now. So, I can hear a guy. Yelling and screaming back there, but I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> oh, is that what? Oh, there it is. Okay. Nice. <laughs> um, no, very cool. Very cool. I'm uh, really happy that you came out and said hi to us. I appreciate that. It's uh, Man, how many miles has this got on it? 50,000. 50,000. Well, it sure looks at the front nose. It doesn't have a chip on it. Yeah, no, it's no, very nice. Well, well, Brian and Kobe, thank you guys for coming, saying hi to me. I appreciate it. Thank you guys you. have a good one, okay? All right, you too. Okay. Thanks. This other side here a little bit and start showing off some of the cars over there. Again, like I was saying, a lot of them, are, they're allowed to be able to close the hood, so I can't show those off. But we've got one coming up right here. 2019 ZR1. It's got spice interior and it is pretty. Take a look at all that. All that carbon fiber. Isn't that crazy? Oh, look at that interior. Is that not beautiful? Hopefully, your camera can, uh, camera's picking that up. But, uh, it's just a really pretty interior. And, uh...
there's a Washington Blue Devil right there. And you guys have probably seen this ZR1 a few times. This one was, uh, this is the one that's the uh, Pacific Central captain. He's going to be leading everybody over to the National Corvette Museum here in a couple of months. And um, that one, the very first time I saw that car, I got to sit right here where this purple one is. And the uh, Midnight Rose, I should say. And I was like, well, I don't think I'm going to win this car show. They put me right next to that one. I didn't think I had much of a chance. And as I was right, he actually won that car show. A lot of Grand Sports here today. Some of these I actually had already had passed over and showed it to you earlier. So we're going to go down this next row over here. Tell me if that isn't impressive as you look down that walkway right there. Isn't that cool? Pretty neat. There's a green one, emerald, emerald green. That one they don't make anymore. Beautiful car though. I don't remember, you guys can probably tell me, I think this was either a 14 only or 14 and 15 only car for that paint color. This one here I think is Terry's car right here. There we go. That's what we'll be doing most likely with Jennifer. She likes the front of the. Uh, she likes the front nose with the with the uh, chrome on it. Um, and I'm thinking that that's what we're going to probably end up settling in on. So, kind of give you an idea what. Hopefully, one of these days you'll see those two. Uh, you know that mine and hers sitting in the garage like that. That would be kind of cool. Definitely is Burgundy Day, that's for sure. I'm seeing a lot of them. A lot of silver ones. I think for trips like this, I'm going to end up having to invest in one of those, uh, one of these bras that you just kind of, is more of a bug deflector than anything. It's not going to stop the rocks, but stop the bugs at least. Um, any of you guys that actually have those those, uh, this, I think they're Nova Stitch, I think is what they call them. Uh, you know, leave me in the comment section on here. Let me know what you think about those. If you have one, let me know what you think. Um, that's a cool sign. Kind of hard to see it right there. You guys are in front of it. But um, anyway, um, this was probably my most favorite color right here. If I could have a C6, exact, it would be, it would be that and a ZR1. <laughs> but um, like I said, I don't think there is a, an ugly Corvette. Here's a beautiful ZR1 here, a C6 ZR1. And they were still even with that. They you know they had this all nice and pretty in here, and have that all carbon carbon fiber and then that window that window is just awesome I love that uh, guy must love that car it's just it's just shiny as all can be here
Another ZR1 here. And then I got yellow in here with Lambo doors on it. I like the show board, that looks really cool. Guys, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys have been watching today, I've had uh, I had Brian Davis. He actually lives here in Grants Pass. Um, he had been uh, writing back and forth with me over the course of the last uh, last week or so, knowing that we were going to be coming up here. And uh, hey, John. And then my my son John graced graced me with his presence today. I haven't seen him in a couple days. There's. There's my son, guys. <laughs> so he's uh, he's sporting a yellow Camaro right now, but um, he's either had a Camaro or a Trans Am or a, or a Corvette uh, since he started driving. So um, he just happens to be doing a Camaro at this point. But he works on Corvettes, and um, he's actually a, a tech for Chevrolet in, uh, uh, in McKinleyville, California. So if you live in the northern northern part of the state and you need your car worked on uh what's the dealership's name john oh, mckinleyville chevrolet and buick okay did you hear that McK mckinleyville chevrolet and buick 1900 so, central mm -hmm. avenue hopefully you guys heard that 1900 central avenue uh oh that's where i grew up that's where he's grown up and um he decided to go back i kind of sometimes mm -hmm. don't blame him it's much easier up, uh, easier living up there and uh, not as much traffic, that's for sure, or right, John? Hot. Yeah, it's or as hot, hot, yeah. Yeah, but I keep trying to get him to come down here. But he did a couple times, but he's not. Nah, he keeps going back up there. He likes it up there better. But um, I like not heat stroking out. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna try to get Larry Vance on the uh, on on video here in a little while hope he's here his him and a bunch of his group is here is he right where's he at silver trunk popped up oh that's him on the right all right great deal all right well then we're gonna have to go over and see him here in just a second and um we're gonna try to uh, get him on film and we're gonna talk about how which is really funny him and i've been talking back and forth and i had invited him up to to come to this show and um and then him and my my son John came across each other in a parking lot. Um, John's looking at his car, going, "Hey, this is beautiful," and um, and next thing you know, he's like, "Wait a minute, Scott's your dad?" So anyway, that was kind of that was kind of funny to be able to hear that happen. Now that was that the world is so small. That's you know, it's it's amazing. Uh, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. If you can look here, what they're doing, the fire department is getting themselves set up, so they're going to be able to take uh, your cameras up there and they're going to take your picture take a picture for you for a donation um i'm going to try to get i was talking to uh, ron howard um not the actor but uh he actually is the president of uh of the southern oregon uh, corvette organization here and uh, i spoke with him yesterday and he was telling me a little story that actually when he was a little boy he was a um he actually was a pen pal with the real ron howard so it's kind of funny he showed me a picture of him and ron howard sitting um on the porch with their sisters it's a or actually i guess the ron the the uh the the actor uh he has his brother clint uh clint and uh, then it was this ron here that had his sister and they were all going down uh and playing so it was kind of cool to see that but anyway we were talking about this and he's going to uh tr hopefully i'll be able to get him on film and be able to tell you a little bit about what uh, they do where the proceeds from this goes to and how long they've been doing it so hopefully I can get that on film so if we do we'll go live with it and we'll um, we'll bring it to you
My poor phone and camera on this thing. I tell you what, it got overheated today and now it's all soaked and wet. Okay. So it's a test. Huh? She says she looks at me and says, okay, I'm buying your phone to me. <laughs> So guys, thanks for watching today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. This whole weekend went for cancer research with the candle lighters and hopefully they have exceeded their $20,000 mark that they were hoping to achieve. Um, it was just an awesome weekend. We had a great time. Uh, so much work went into that. It was just so well organized. Um, I'm the type that always wants everything to be drawn out, know exactly what's going to happen when it does. I knew that as soon as I got my sign and packet. So it was very well organized. I loved every bit of it. We enjoyed it. We had, uh, we had uh, blind golf cart driving contests, which uh, Jennifer and I actually, we came in first for our, uh, our group, which was very cool. Um, the video got damaged on that, so you don't get to see it, but I swear to you, we really did win. Um, but overall, I think we came in like fourth. Um, so there was a couple of people that beat us out. So anyway, um, the jet boat ride was awesome. We had a great dinner up there, um, and it's just everything about it was great. And we're going to be able to take a lot of what what happened uh, and how the, all that planning happened, and we're going to try to apply it to our car shows here. So hopefully that'll make us a little bit better too. So. Uh, Southern Oregon Corvette Association, if you're watching this, thank you very much. You guys did an awesome job. For those of you watching today, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Let me ask you one thing, though. I've been looking at the analytics from YouTube, and I'm seeing that um, we're, we're getting, we have we're over 2,400 subscribers now, but over 77% of the viewership is coming from people that are not even subscribed. So can you imagine what it would be like if we actually got all of you to subscribe? Now, it doesn't cost you any to, anything to subscribe, but it, what it does do, and hopefully you'll do this for me, is that when I contact some of the companies that sponsor the channel, they look at our viewership and they look at what we have as far as subscribers. And the higher amount of subscribers that we have, the more amped they're willing to uh, to uh, support the channel and sponsor us. So if you guys would do me that favor, I know you're watching. I see that you guys are all watching and that's awesome. But if you, if you already have a Google account, uh, a Google e email account, just then you should just be able to hit subscribe. If you don't sign up for that Google account, it's very, very simple. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And then subscribe to the channel. Like I said, we're at 2,400 and we've got 
2,400 and some odd people now that are, are subscribed, but 77% of the viewership is not subscribed. So that tells me we would be pushing the heck out of 10,000 subscribers if we actually got all of you to subscribe. So if you could do that for me, that would be awesome. That'll allow me to be able to bring more content and better content to the to the show, okay? So hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys can do that and I sure appreciate everything you guys have done so far. You guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later. Hi, I'm Gina. Thanks for watching the Corvette channel. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons.